Hi, I'm James Lockman, and today we're going to see how we can use Acrobat.com as a learning management system for our Adobe Captivate 5 projects. You've got to start with a Captivate project that has a quiz in it. Once you've got that done, then under the Captivate menu, choose Preferences, and then go down to Quiz Reporting. Enable reporting for the project, and then choose Acrobat.com as the method. You'll need to configure Acrobat.com now. Enter your Adobe ID. If you don't have an Adobe ID, then you can create one here. You'll also need to enter your password. You will need to indicate your company name, the department, and the course. This is actually kind of neat. You can have multiple projects with multiple assessments attached to the same course. Once you've entered all the information, click Save. This will now talk to Acrobat.com and set up the results folder there. Once we click OK, pay attention to what's going on on slide 5. A new button is going to be added that will allow us to post the results to our learning management system. And there you see Post Result. Let's move that over into the empty space on the left. Great, let's publish our project. We'll save it, and then publish. We're going to put it to an FTP site. I'm going to replace any content that's there, and off we go. You'll get no feedback from Captivate that it's actually publishing the project. Don't worry, it is doing it, it just takes its time. Fantastic. Let's go take a look at the results. I do want you to go and take the quiz yourself, so please do so from the blog entry. I will show you how we take a look at the aggregated data, though. We look at our results in the Adobe Captivate Quiz Results Analyzer. You need to select your data source, in this case it's Acrobat.com, and you choose it from this menu here. You can choose Acrobat.com, you can choose a data set from this computer, or you can configure other data sources in the Options menu. For now, we're going to sign into Acrobat.com to see our results. In the James Lockman Consulting Education Department, there are currently two courses in operation. Let's take a look at the results for Blog Quiz. Select the course and then generate the report. We see that in this course there's one interaction. It's called Test Project. That happens to be the quiz that's online at my blog. To drill down into the contents, double click. Now, you can see that two people have successfully passed the test. Let's take a look at James's results. I can see how James answered each of the questions here. If we had a free response question, then that answer would be in this list as well. You can generate a report to CSV at this stage. If you click Export to CSV, then the Captivate Quiz Results Analyzer will generate a text file that contains the report that you see on screen right now. If you want to see aggregate reporting, that is everybody's results, then you need to go back out to the quiz level. At this stage, we can download the raw data from this quiz from Acrobat.com to our computer. Clicking this button will create an SQLite database, as well as the XML files that represent the answers from each quiz. While we've only got two data points, it's kind of silly to graph, but you can graph the results as well. Currently, this tells us that there are two students, and two students have passed the test. When you're done looking at your reports, you can simply sign out of Acrobat.com. The combination of Captivate 5 and Acrobat.com is very powerful. It makes it possible for people to take advantage of e-learning without having to invest heavily in a large learning management system. 
When the volume of learners or the number of courses warrants, of course you're going to want to take advantage of a more robust learning management system. But if you're just getting going, take a look at Acrobat.com and Captivate 5.